Saltatory propagation is transmission of the action potential along a myelinated fiber that appears to jump from node to node. The phenomenon of the action potential virtually jumping from the node to node is due to sodium is more abundant outside of the axon. It moves into the cell as the action potential is generated. The positive ions moving through the voltage gate and into the cell cause the already intracellular positive ions down the axon. This opens the adjacent electrical gate where more extracellular sodium moves into the axon, pushing positive ions further down the axon. When the action potential reaches the gate adjacent to the myelinated Schwann cell, the positive ions are pushed through the myelinated region and almost immediately cause the gate after the Schwann cell to open. The action potential jumps this myelinated region because myelin is a lipid insulator that does not allow ions to pass through its membrane. The action potential moves along the entire axon in this fashion. The jumping allows a message to be sent 30 times faster than unmyelinated axons because there are no gates to open in the myelinated region. Imagine that you have to send a message to someone really far away, like Pippin. Think of Pippin as an action potential trying to get his message to Aragorn on the other side of the mountain. When Pippin lights his beacon, it's like sodium ions pouring into the axon in a node of Ranvier. His message is pushed quickly across the mountain when it is seen by the man at the next beacon. Each beacon is symbolic of a node of Ranvier, and the vast space between each beacon is symbolic of myelinated Schwann cells. As you can see, Pippin's message is sent a long distance in a short amount of time. If Pippin had to run across these mountains with his little hobbit legs, it would take him, say, probably 30 times longer to get his message to Aragorn.